Hi everyone. Um, we're gonna be doing our JP vlog and um, making a <laughs> tour on the Jake. Stop disrupting our JP vlog. <laughs> Not just here. Anyways, guys, anyway. um, we'll just be talking about a few of our dining halls. We might walk around and show you what it looks like as well. We'll talk about yes. our favorite foods, um, favorite orders, what to get, and some secret tips that only insider UCLA students know. Yeah, and um, let's just give you a little. Let's just give you a little, um, a little rundown of how many dining halls there are and which ones they are. So there are like seven, I think. Well, three dining halls and a bunch of takeout places. So there's Epicurea, Epicurea at Ackerman, there's The Study, there's B Play, there's B Calf, there's Ronde, but Ronde is divided into Ronde West and Ronde East for different cuisines. There's, um, what else is there? B Play, Deneb. Deneb. Deneb is a classic. And also Cafe 1919 recently opened up, which is just a dessert place. And everyone loves Cafe 1919. Um, on the, um, on the, on campus, there's also so many more like Panda Express, um, uh, there's there's Subway, there's Rubio's, and so there's so many different foods, but we'll stick to on the hill for now. Exactly. Okay. Um, stay tuned. Hi guys. Hi. Um, we are at the entrance of the study, and we are getting dinner. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, show you our study um, orders and what we get and what we think is the best. Right. The entrance to the study. Hi guys. I'm gonna be ordering my study sandwich. So I always cook on sandwiches. I like sourdough bread, untoasted, contrary to popular belief. Uh, mozzarella, grilled chicken, but grilled chicken twice. And then I like pickles. Wait. Okay, I like pickles. I like tomatoes and lettuce. I like both kinds of pesto on it. And I usually just choose this based on my mood, but I'm gonna go with bananas. And I really, really, really like milk, so low fat milk. And here we pay for our meal. Okay. Show us the process. Okay, so this is how I swipe my card. <laughs> Make sure to follow the prompts over here. And here is the printer. And now we wait. James. James will be showing you uh, what I'll show you my gets. order. Yeah. So I get a sandwich. I also get sourdough bread. Toasted, of course. Um, you can either choose between mozzarella or provolone. I don't really mind. Recently, I've been going for the mozzarella. Go with that. Um, I'll go... <laughs> I'll go grilled chicken and roasted turkey. Because uh, you need different types of protein. Um, lettuce for sure. And then here, I either choose jalapenos or pickles. Recently, I've been on a jalapeno grind, so go with that. And then I'll go with red onions. Okay, that's a respectable order, James. Yep. Um, for my sauce, for my uh, spreads, these are controversial, but I'll go red wine vinegar and deli mustard. Now, what? The reason for this is, at the beginning of the year, I was trying to be super healthy, so I tried to find the spread with the best macros, you know, least calories. And that was it, but I actually really grew to like it because I really like sour foods. Um, so yeah, and then, you know, sides, it doesn't really matter. Let's go with the banana and fountain beverage. Okay, that's his order, and now he'll pay the same way I did. Okay, while we wait for our orders, we're going to be talking about um, our other favorite dining halls. Since we're both on a regular like meal plan, we can't really swipe in everywhere and show you guys and give you guys the full experience but we're gonna be talking about our favorite foods. So at Bean Plate, I always go there for breakfast or brunch, and what I like getting there is the bagels with herb cream cheese. Um, and um, yeah, I also really like the milk, the 2% milk. <laughs> the 2% of milk. And um, sometimes the chicken, um, people really think that chicken, like the chicken at Bean Plate is dry, but I think otherwise. Um, I just I just really like the texture and the taste of it. They also added strawberries, and strawberries are my favorite fruit. And yeah. the strawberries and mangoes and the yogurt are is really really yeah. really good. Yeah. What about you? Uh, as for me, I do usually go to B Play. You know, I don't wake up in time for breakfast or brunch, so I'll usually go for lunch or dinner. Um, my or my what I get is usually the same. Um, whatever protein they have, it's usually chicken, but sometimes they have like fish or steak. 
Um, so I'll get like two to three pieces of that. Um, go to the vegetable bar, get their like uh, sauteed kale or whatnot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the vegetable bar is a pretty good one. They always have like I like I like the kale, and they also have corn sometimes, which really hits. Um, uh, yeah, moving on to Denev. Denev is a classic um, UCLA dining hall. I personally don't like it at all, but it, it really just enhances um, the experience of going to UCLA. <laughs> um, it, it has like American food mostly. Yeah, but, yeah. it's um, like American dining hall food. Yeah. Um, you know, think of a Denny's, and you know, you'll get you'll get yeah. what Denev has. Yeah, you know. it's basically it. Um, they do have like like um, soft serve which is a positive because you have unlimited soft serve oh my god i hope i hope that doesn't um sorry for that little break but yeah um the soft serve there really hits different and they give it in cones which is another positive i love cone ice cream um next we'll go to uh well let's move on to epic for now oh yeah at the end of this video we're gonna be adding pictures of like all our favorite foods from these places yeah because we didn't we we've been like taking pictures of the food yeah yeah so we'll add them at the end but epic is one of my favorite dining halls because you get italian food there and um i love pasta and the pizza there is just <laughs> it's just really good and and well um baked yeah if i if i had to compare epicuria to a place um, think of an olive garden you know it's italian it's not great food but it'll, it'll also like never let you know you know what you're getting yeah, um, I agree. You really, it's it, it's, a, it's a good place to eat, at. and um, they also they also have really good um, desserts. They have really good desserts. They have something called the espresso panna cotta, which is just out of this world. And yeah, there's always fruit at all these dining halls, and we both really really like fruit. Never forget to take a fruit when you leave a dining hall. Yeah, you always have to exploit the resources. So take take like two fruit, even though only one is allowed. And um, what else? <laughs> um, what are some other food places on the hill? You might ask. Of course, you can't forget the food trucks. Um, they've been here, you know, throughout while while we've been here. What's your favorite food truck? Um, mine has to be the what is it called? The Habibi Brothers or Habibi Oh, Habibi Shack? Yeah, yeah. what is that? You know, I've never had it myself, but you want to tell us about it? Um, yeah, I got this one, like, chicken wrap, which is, like, really, really tasty. The hummus they put in is... What? <laughs> no, you still going. You're still okay. going. Okay, okay. <laughs> the hummus they put in it is just, um, really, really tasty. And, um, um, what else? I, I think that's about it. They give a good salad as well. Yeah, um, is yours? I I think my favorite is gonna have to be um, I forgot what it's called. Pero. I really oh, like Pero. Pero. Yeah, Pero. Pero. It's like it's like a taco place and they only um they only serve either Pero, which is like uh, I forget what kind of meat it is. <laughs> Probably something like that. And then they also have a veggie version and they only serve those two items. And I think because they do that, you know. They only have two specialties. You know, they're really, it's really perfected and refined. So, yeah, definitely recommend Pedro any, anytime you come uh, out to UCLA. Yeah. Um, and lastly, we want to talk about Cafe 1919. It is a classic, and they recently opened it up for winter quarter, uh, for spring quarter. And everyone loves dessert. And um, the president of our club works there, so we always go there to say hi to him. Um, and yeah, we just get really good. Uh, I mean, my, me personally, I actually haven't been able to have it yet, but I've only heard good things about it. Okay, well, I think we're gonna change that soon. Um, and the lines, the there. lines are always really long. But so. that's because it's good. Indeed, yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, that's basically a rundown of. Wait, our... you forgot one important place, Feast. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, Feast is open till twelve. Um, there are actually a few places open till twelve on the hill. Um, the Study, Feast, and Deneuve Late Night. Feast is basically just, they invite any like Asian restaurants to come and cook and like just yeah. give out food. Uh, and the Nev Late Night, which is open to 12, either is, what is it, hamburgers and fries, fries. Or, 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 chicken or chicken tenders, tenders and fries. And fries. <coughs> Pretty good, guilty pleasure, but you yeah. know, we heard in the past that like um, the Nev Late Night pizza used to hit really well. So, you know, 
Oh really? Yeah, I've heard that before. So like. Damn, why did they stop that? Don't know. I would have gone. Oh yeah, every, all all dining hall experiences have been have been going down at UCLA because of a lack of like um, employees and yeah, whole whatnot after COVID. after COVID. So you know, it's unfortunate that we caught the tail end of it, but. But hopefully, hopefully it'll, it'll go, rise. It'll go back up. And yeah. honestly, I, I would still say that we're one of the better dining halls in the nation. I agree. Yeah. I've also only eaten at like UCLA. That is true. But I, I'd like to believe we're one of the best. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go pick up my study sandwich now. So you guys can come with me and look at it. We're orders here and then wait for it to show over there. Oh, look, there, there's my order. Let me go pick it up. Oh, is that Ashley? Ashley! Ashley! Okay, I'm gonna be unboxing my study sandwich. Um, I just saw my friend Ashley. Anyway, here it is. This is the packaging. Um, people are starting to look at me. But it's fine. And ta da! This is my study sandwich.